G'day guys, welcome back. <laughs> You're up on my uh, my kitchen island bench and I had to climb up the ladder and um, press play and then all, walk all the way around. So anyway, hi, <laughs> welcome. Um, yes, yeah, so I've managed to um, still be able to create a little bit on the weekends when the builders aren't making a racket. And uh, yeah, welcome to my kitchen. So I've got this new geode mold. That I want to use and I also bought myself a little thermometer look it goes in here so I can just leave it in there and then the temperature comes up here I'm looking for 40 degrees See, it's just changed to 34 I'm looking for 40 degrees Celsius and then I'm going to decant I'm using the platinum 360 plus so while that's doing that I am going to put some crushed well crushed rock I guess along my edges because I figured that's something I can do while I'm waiting and I'm just gonna put a little bit in it's just yeah it's just gold whoa gold crushed glass <laughs> making a mess already so I thought this because it's gonna take me a little while I didn't want to wait until my resin got hot and then you know I'm running out of time as I sometimes do. So I thought I'll just do this now. But um, you guys feel free to fast forward if you don't want to watch me put glass in. Um, and then I think when I pour the clear in, these might move a little bit. Although they're quite heavy, it's not like, um, you know, the gold leaf that kind of floats. That's why I'm using this because I don't want them to, you know, float away everywhere. And these are nice and heavy. So I'm going to do the 3D bloom, I'll talk to you while I'm doing this, I'm going to do the 3D bloom um, and you guys really really like that white one I did the other day with the um, gold glitter that I used, so oh gosh 39 degrees, so yeah I'm going to go again with, with that. See, it's heating up a lot faster because it's in a, I oh don't know, was I looking upside down or something? Oh, yes, 34. I thought I read 39. Was it 39? Or am I imagining things? So, yeah, I'm going to go with the glass, the glass, the gold glitter inks. And uh, do some white blooms. It normally takes about 10 minutes. To get to the desired 39 degrees but again it depends on the temperature of your room it depends on the um, depth of resin that you've got see mine's pretty deep so I would at the moment in this little cup so I would think it would sort of get to its temperature pretty fast few strays there it doesn't matter I don't want to scratch my mold all right so that's that done so when we get to give it a stir I don't know if that makes any more difference so I've got half in there and half here I made up um, I did 255 grams of A and 97 grams of B so that's 322 grams total and then I split it between the two cups, otherwise you know, it would be right up here and it would just probably flash cure. So we'll do, just go slow with it. Divide it up. Right, so I'm going to, oh, I forgot my middle. I forgot my middle. I want to put some in the middle as well. That's what I did when I did my coaster. And of course, because it's a, an oval, I kind of need to spread them out a little bit. Like so, kind of do a bit of an oval shape. Does that look about right? And you can do as many or as few as you want in the center. Just a little hint. Every time I move them, like roll them, they spring up and jump out of the way. Oh gosh. All right, but you can just get your little piece of tape. How are we going? Oh, I'm still on 34 degrees. Feels warmer than that to me. What's the time? 
Um, I'm just going to stick my other thermometer into it just to check because this is a brand new thermometer this one and I'm just hoping that it's going to work. Should be enough, there shouldn't be any reason why it wouldn't work. 35, 36. It's a bit different to that one though. This one says 36. Thirty-seven. Oh, thirty-eight. Okay, hang on. I can't trust that one. Gosh. Alright, let me take that out. This is what I checked. Because normally it gets to um gets to temperature at uh, 10 minutes. Let's have to clean this now. Well, that wasn't very good, was it? Can't use that if it's not going to work. All right, let's try this again. I need to put my gloves on then if I'm going to be playing with resin. 37, 38, 39, 2, 399, okay, we have go. I'm just gonna clean this off, get my gloves on, and we will get started. All right, get my hands a bit of a clean there. Now, where's my gloves? I hate having to rush. Imagine if I'd gone by the other one. All right, um, oh, I was looking for the stick. <laughs> It's in the other cup. All right, here we go. Decanting. So that's the one. It's a nice thick resin to begin with, but it's not so thick that it has a ton of bubbles in it. So it's pretty good bubble release. Now in my other little cup, my little cup here. I just want to put 30 grams in and then I'll put the rest in there. I've got 35. Alright, so that's for my white. And then the rest of this is going in. Like so. So yeah, I just kind of guesstimated how much I needed. I went by um, one of the previous videos I did. I did a um, one of my 24 centimeter round trays. Oops, that's not mixed very well, is it? Um, so yeah, I'm just going by that one. Hopefully I've got enough. If I haven't, I'm in trouble because there's nothing I can do about it now. It doesn't look very thick, but again, you don't need it to be very thick, especially if you want to maybe do a top coat or this is going to be a bowl so I don't want it to be very thick because I want to um, mold it so the mold itself is one centimeter deep all right so now that's going to just sit there again until um, this one gets back up to 40 degrees so it'll just take a little while to get back up to 40, but uh, we'll keep going. Torch. Be careful when you torch, go really quickly. I'm going to really light a small little flame here. It's a new little flame. Oh gosh. Working in my kitchen, I don't know where all my stuff is. Ooh. You don't look as if you belong there. Okay, um, now let's mix the white. I'm using the Angel White by Lares. I have been using the Just Resin Titanium White and it works really well, but I'm going to just try a different one. I think they're pretty much all the same. This is my small stir stick. Give it a stir. I'm wiping the top, wiping the bottom. There's a little bit left on the sides. Just going to check that first and see what the opacity is like on that. Climb up my ladder and make sure I'm still taping. Yep. So 
It was a bonus when we're still taping. Okay. So I stopped stirring at 5 to 12. It's now about 12 past 12. So I've been going just over 15 minutes and I want to be piping at about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, that looks a little bit too, um, too transparent. I'm just going to dip that in again, wipe it off. I want it to be just like skim milk, like not too, I don't want it to be, I don't want to have it so that you can't see the stick through it, like totally, totally white. I want to be able to see through it and it gives you that really ethereal, wispy kind of a look. And I'm not putting any alcohol ink in it this time. I'm just going to look at it with the back of the stick. Because the alcohol ink, you know, the white, that's good. The white alcohol ink, it just makes it more dense, especially the piñata. Like, it makes it more dense, more opaque. So I don't want it to do that. So, yeah, let me just clean up. I've got to be extra careful with my cleaning up. Um, because I'm in my kitchen, <laughs> puppy fiddle pads everywhere and things. All right, actually, let me just drop these inks in. I'm putting some brown and some orange in. Most of my resin supplies are packed. So I kept out one box. I've got some alcohol inks. I've got a few pigment pastes, a few micas, like my favorite colors. <laughs> But that's it. All right, and that one's called yellow. This one's called brown. There was a coffee and there was a brown, but I went with the brown. And this is yellow. It's not lemon yellow. It's more of a, like an orangish yellow. And I just thought it would look pretty with the gold and pretty with the brown. So not too much. Come on, out you come. Out you come. Don't spit. Don't you hate it when they spit? Right, I think that'll do. <sighs> that'll do. Right, so that's those done. Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, now, the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use this. Actually, I should check the temperature real quick because I'm at 20 minutes now. So this I want to get back up to 40 degrees. 37. 38, 39, oh, we're on 40, probably over 40. Okay, I'll get, I'll get a wriggle on. Let's get a wriggle on. Where's fellas of I'm rushing at the end here? Right, that's going to go in there. And where's my stick? Oh, here. Hopefully I've got enough. White. Oh, what am I doing this for? Oh, okay. I was going to use my stick. Look. Never mind, it's, I just automatically got out a piping bag. Doesn't matter, I'll pipe. I'll do it again later on. Um, another time with my stick, because it's in there now. Right, that can just sit there for a minute. This is the other thing I wanted to show you, this glitter gold. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on, I haven't prepped the lid yet. Oh my gosh. Why? in there okay all right here we go did it work oh gosh it's not working That's, nothing's coming out oh no all right why all right i don't i don't need this today all right i'm just gonna do this i don't know why it's not working Actually, that might not have been my... I think I might have used a different glitter gold. Actually, I, yeah, I did. I went and bought... From Amazon, I went and bought a, um, a gold and a silver and a few different colours, so... <laughs> oh, gosh. Just get it in there any way you can. Any which way you can, hey? Oh, gosh. All right, it's got like half a bob. I don't know why that's not working. I'll have to put a bigger, a bigger nail through it. All right, um, let's do a little bit of this 
bit of a swirl here. I've got to be careful not to break up my stones. And I'm just going to leave the gold like that. All right. Now let's cut this end off. Let's have a look what this looks like. Yep, that should be okay. Alrighty. Yeah, I wasn't planning on doing that. But anyway. Oops. Oh, now I dropped it on the floor. Oh, gosh. Kind of need a helper. A helper today. Um, my brown centre's moved. I just want that brown center in the center. All right, here we go, guys. Sorry to muck around. Let's get going before my resin sets up. Now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put my, um, instead of piping over the top, I'm actually going to put my um, piping bag into the resin. Like, it's, it's in there. It's in the resin like you know how I would do if I was doing my stick how I put it like inside the resin and I was thinking to myself the other night I wonder what would happen if I actually put my piping bag into the resin rather than just sit it over the top so that's what I'm doing today and we'll just see if it makes any difference at all I'm just going to wind this back up I don't know if it makes any difference at all, but we shall see. We shall see. What did I get up to? Oops. The inside, the resin. I'm going to go right. Hopefully I've got enough white. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to have enough. I might even not have enough. Look at that spilt a bit to begin with. All right, I'm going to have to just do these little bits here. Make sure I've got enough. Because I'm going to get to those edges out there. Where's the bag? <laughs> Just. Mm, wish I had a little bit more. A little tiny bit more. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Where else can I do one more? One there. That's it. That's all I can do. Oh, actually, that should put a little bit more in the middle, shouldn't I? Okay, that's it. Uh, squeeze it out. Okay, it's totally empty now. Oh my gosh. Clean my hands. Resin all over my hands. Okay. I'm gonna clean my little stick off. I'm going to fold all that up. Bear with me. Fold all my mess up. Okay. All right. Now, uh, that was done. I need to give it a quick torch. And then um, I need to do my swirl in the center. <sighs> that was nerve-wracking, you guys. Fix up my little blob there that I dropped. Anything else that I've made a mess of maybe so it looks pretty good all right um i need to change because i've got that one I need to change to my little pointy dude where are you little pointy dude where are you where are you where are you here he is my little pointy dude all right here we go now i'm going to swirl but i'm sort of like a 
oval but I just got to be careful I don't disrupt my stones mm, I never know whether it's good to swirl from the inside out or whether go from the let's try this I'm gonna go from the outside in rather look at that that much okay there we go I've never done that before I've always swirled from the inside out but let's try that Phew, all right, you guys, that's all I can do. That was nerve wracking. All right, I'm gonna get you down. I'm gonna throw this out, get my gloves off. Climb up my ladder. Oh, hang on, oh, I'm gonna stand up the next one. Right, that was an effort. <laughs> let's have a look. So we've got the gold edge, and then we've got a little bit of white around the edge, and then we've got that gold glitter ink, and then we go to the yellowy ink, and then we go to the brown in the center. So it kind of gets darkest to lightest. But look, oh, they're blooming, they're blooming. Even though I've done this so many times, it's still nerve wracking every time I do it. And I look at the temperature and I go, oh my gosh, because it was in the, like what was in the cup got to 40 or over 40. And then I'm thinking, oh my God, now I've ruined it. I do like to go by time. Just because it's something that I can control, you know, it's the time, the, the temperature, sorry. It's not going to change whether your room's hot or it's cold or your resin's in a deep cup or a shallow cup. The temperature is going to stay the same and I know I'll get the same results with the same resin with the same temperature so that's why I do it this way but everyone's different you have your own ways all right um, I'll come back to you in about an hour if I remember and what's it's looking like it looks like a big eye see you soon all right guys it has been three hours three hours pretty much on the dot now to test if it's ready ah haha <laughs> only joking did i scare you you have to be able to touch it without it sticking to you and without it leaving a dent <laughs> that's where i touched it earlier and it's i can see fingerprints there just heat them sometimes if you heat your fingerprint or your mark you can like melt it back again but this is the bottom so i think it's ready uh, if you pick it up, it's, it still bends, so should be good. Um, I found this little plastic, like platter, serving platter tray thing, um, and I thought it would look, it didn't make a nice little form for my bowl. So, ooh, let's get it out. It's still very soft. I hope it's all right. But of course, if it pulls away like this at the sides, you know, you know you're on a good thing. Oh, that's where I heated it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go around and loosen it all the way around. Of course, I heated this little bit just here. I shouldn't have. I'll stick that back down. I was trying to get a fingerprint off it and <laughs> heated it. around make sure it's loose all the way um, what if I need to put a glove on it should be all right I'll just hold the I'll hold this side like that actually Ooh. let's just put it in there like so it looks kind of even doesn't it all right now I can take it out I can just peel it away shall I that way I don't have to worry about touching it isn't that a good idea I can pick it up and move it in a minute though. <gasps> oh wow, look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Here's my mold. Put you away for a minute. Alrighty. Oh wow. Look at that. I think I've prob probably put it pretty much right in the middle. I don't know if I can pick it up and move it again. Oh, look, it's still really, I probably could have left it a little bit longer. Okay, I'm just going to leave it. It's pretty much, I mean, if I moved it over, it would only be, oh, 
look look see how far that is over there on my left and this one here it's not much it's not much to it I'm just gonna leave it because for me to try and pick that up it is not going to end well I'm not even going to touch the, the inside look at that I might have put a little bit too much in look a little color a few little blobbies there I might have like so that's the thing when you're piping with your bag you go up and then down and then you stop there and then you start again so this area here gets double the amount so you can get that with the um, piping bag the middle looks pretty can't really see much of the brown though it's pretty much covered with the the gold sprinkles you can see a little bit of gold a little bit of brown in there but um, that's really pretty I'm happy with it yay all right uh, so all I need to do now is leave it like that um, I'll cover it again just so that nothing lands on it like a fly or something what are your dogs growling about <laughs> this is the problem with being inside you can hear my dogs all righty so I think that's I think that's all I can do for now I'm just gonna leave it like that um, I may when it's unmolded I may finish the edges off with um, a gold pen to match the gold in the middle and on the edges there but yeah it's looking really really pretty oh I can't stop looking at it so pretty all right um, I'll see you maybe later on tonight uh, to demold it that's a good thing about this resin you can form it in three hours and then you know you can unmold it another three hours after that so it's looking forward to doing that see you soon I know guys so it's the next day we're all set up so do the good thing with having the plastic is you can just break it apart like that a little bit just to release the suction and then it pops out really easily look at that <laughs> all right oh, actually now you can see the background uh, the gray background you see you can see the white on it a bit more so I've got a couple of little areas where I'm going to have to just sand it a little bit um, yeah my resin was a little bit too soft I should have left it another half an hour at least so it's just sort of made this little flattened area here on the side of my platter so I'm just going to go outside and sand these with my little nail file uh, and then I'll be right back and we'll put the gold edge on right that's all done now normally I use this pen the deco color premium but I bought this one online it just popped up on my Facebook feed so I haven't actually used it before I've just primed it you know by pushing the nib down to get the color through looks really really gold so I'm gonna have a go at that so let's just see if we can see any difference I'm going to just pop a little bit on here this is the Deco color there it is oops it dripped beautiful and shiny that's what I usually use so let's see what the difference is of this one. It's got a much bigger nib on it. It's more, more yellow gold, I think. Can you see the difference between the two? This is a more pale gold and that's a more yellow gold so yeah I'm gonna have a go with it anyway so look at the size of that nib it's huge all right so I'm just gonna go all the way around it's gonna take me a little while to do much faster if I'm not holding this out in front of me either I'm gonna go over that other gold because I think I'm gonna do the edge with this one so I'm going to go all the way around. I might go and sit down and do it actually, <laughs> rather than standing here in front of the camera. <clears throat> but there we go, it looks so good so far, doesn't it? Right, I'm going to do that. Um, and then, 
actually I'll do that and I'll come back to you because then I'll do the top edge all right so I'll just finish this and I'll be right back last little bit I'm actually surprised how well it goes on it's really quite fast like I can do it quite fast just leaving it down here on my bench um, if there's like a little bubble on the edge there I just push some color into it I haven't got many bubbles there's a couple but I just push the color into it and it fills up the little hole and uh, it's it's really good coverage actually like I'm only going to need to do one coat and there we go look at that be careful not to touch the the wet paint I call it paint I guess it's paint all right really impressed with that color so it is called <clears throat> let's see if I can get close up for you Secura Secura quick dry permanent opaque pen touch gold I've also got the silver one well, it's chrome it's got a different name but I got it from the same place uh, anyway I'll use that one another day right now this is my favorite favorite time is doing the outer edge Let's see, I'll pick it up how am I going to do this I'll do it here so I'm just going to run the the edge I'm going to actually put the side if I can if it'll work maybe not I just have to very carefully go along the top inner edge it's probably not quite as easy as it is with that one because that one you can sort of put the edge inside that nib this one it's a much harder nib so I don't think I can actually do that but I'll just see how I go okay now it is doing it whoops <laughs> went over went out of my lines push it down Give it a shake to push the color down it's always more difficult doing things in front of the camera isn't it because I'm holding it in an angle that I wouldn't normally be holding it maybe I can just leave it like that let's see how I go okay that works let's turn it around all the way around I think that's working I think, I think I'm doing it <laughs> oh gosh it's very easy if I do it this way actually just have to trial and error with the new product new pen work out how you can hold hold it okay this is working push it down on it so I'll turn that around There we go. Can you see that little rim there that I've just painted on? Like that. Alright, I think I've got the hang of it now, you guys. Just go all the way around. Alright, that's working really nicely. Um, I don't have a link for this. Like I said, it just popped up in my Facebook feed and I bought it. So I don't actually know where it was from. But I'm sure if you search that name that I just showed you, um, you'll be able to find it with any luck. Mm, I think I'm back to the beginning again. go over it a little bit more now that I know what I'm doing make it a little bit thicker okay I think that's it there we go that's it <gasps> look at it you guys it looks so pretty wow <laughs> love it alrighty there we go hope you enjoyed that video put my little cap back on 
and uh, what's it gonna? Doesn't know what to focus on this or the flower in the background. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I showed you before. Right. So there we go. Hope you fully enjoyed that video. Um, I will use my little geode mold tray again um, because there's another colour scheme that I want to try. Um, so and a different bowl shape as well that I want to try instead of using this platter. So yeah, lots more ideas and um, see if I can maybe not get it so thick on the edges. I may have just piped a little bit too much in. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching guys. I love you all. Take care. Bye for now.